There's a thing in music called the Great American Songbook. It's the canon of great jazz and pop songs of the 20th century. It almost seems as though singer Paula West should have her own page. She's a chanteuse of another age, a singer whose voice for more than two decades has filled nightclubs and theaters from San Francisco to New York. And yet, it wasn't a straight path to the stage. I was born in Camp Pendleton, which is in Oceanside. My dad was in the Marines. I was never in choir or, or anything like that. West didn't even find her voice until later in life. I didn't start singing until I was in my early 20s. She moved to San Francisco in 1988, drawn to its spirit and politics. Give me Back then, singing was just an escape from her waitress jobs. I, mean, I waited tables for, you know, 20 years, a little over 20 years. Was a boy. It wasn't long before singing became her there bread and butter. Well, I was usually working at least five nights a week, little restaurants and bars. Her voice took her to rooms from clubs to New York's Lincoln Center to SF Jazz. Along with the classics, she mixed in her own take on the music of people like the Beatles and Bob Dylan. These are standards now. They've been around 50, 60 years now. And then in March of 2020, her music went silent as the pandemic shut down life as we knew it. Nightlife was among its biggest casualties. And that hit everybody. If you were famous or not famous, everything shut down. Don't stand in the After struggling without gigs, several live streams from St. Joseph's Art Society in San Francisco kept her spirits and finances afloat. Yeah, you know, really save my butt. And people are really woke. Unlike musicians who avoid politics to keep from alienating fans, West uses her platform to speak up for democratic causes and against injustice. It's very important to me and I, I cannot help but observe it and not speak out when I can. There is no middle ground when it comes to racism, bigotry, homophobia. I could the songs West sings are timeless, though the city she sings them in has changed. You know, when I first moved here, every hotel had a piano. But one of those rooms still has a piano, and this weekend through Valentine's Day, West will sing her songs in the Feinstein room of San Francisco's Nico Hotel. Even Dylan himself will make the scene. This is Dylan. He's named after Bob Dylan. It's the dog days of song as Davis bends the classics to her will, writing her own chapter in the Great American Songbook. Joe Rosado Jr., NBC Bay Area News. Just a nothing, my own.